गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन एंड वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल इंग्लिश लिटरेचर टूडे गुड टॉक अबाउट सालेम उल्टीन नाइन्टी टू नाइन्टी थ्री ए डार्क पेज इन आर्ली अमेरिकन हिस्ट्री ए हेनस क्राइम एगेंस्ट ह्यूमैनिटी मैथाचुसेट्स बे कॉलोनी here it is and then it is boston and here it is the salem city some men and women were executed in massachusetts and connecticut during the 17th century it is known as salem witch trial prosecution process of people accused of witchcraft more than 200 people were accused 19 were hanged and one was crushed to death most were women in salem town the jurisdiction process took place prosecution and hanging also took place there now we will have a look at a 17th century america its social structure as well as mental scenario behind this heinous crime this heinous act of mankind there is something dominant powerful or some weakness of humanity that accelerated this action we have to search that root before understanding salem ustral why it happened the period mentality we have to dig hard to understand 17th century pre revolutionary american life was a budding social and political civilization regulated by religious conservatives <coughs> america was a cluster of small towns torn and divided into political and religious rivalries and where there is religious conservations there is the there is the hard domination there is a domination over the people because there is the fear to lose the position and this fear to lose the position make people cruel America was a cluster of small towns torn and divided into political and religious rivalries the puritans who were persecuted in britain fled to the new land to build their domain and to force puritan rules and regulations among the communities <coughs> they made the societal forum a breeding ground of religious fanaticism and superstition and where there is no free thought and there is domination there there are the conservationists it became the breeding ground of superstition obviously the puritan fathers were afraid to lose their dominance as a new secular revolutionary generation was sprouting their heads so already the In the 17th century means already the Americans, the native, the old Americans who have arrived in the Mayflower Sea, they have passed a generation. A new budding generation is dominating the field, coming in the field, and they are not such stern and superstitious. So the old rung, the old forefathers, they try their best to hold the rein. to harness the new situation the new scenario they did not want to lose their grief that they tried so hard that they struggled so hard to find to make their own domain coming from the clutches of england so their only ground their only domination is in new land america 
and they did not want to lose it so easily and when faith goes in wrong way people's fear become frantic with superstitious conception and then such brutal massacre happens salem was populated with poor farm families they are not highly educated <coughs> they are not reasonable they are only guided and dominated by the puritan fathers their whose only belief was that there is believe in god believe in us whatever we are saying it is the word of god and there is the rules and regulations and society is divided into two class poor and rich the privileged and the non privileged in the upper rung there is the rich people they are privileged and in the lower rung there is the poor people who are under privileged or non privileged puritan mentality now in 1620 you know this year boarding mayflower 100 passengers arrived and landed in plymouth colony massachusetts bay they established their own kingdom that believes in divine justice and god's power they preferred an austere and sober way of living they were very concerned about outside influences on the society they are extremely protective of their community's beliefs and powers so this is on the one hand and on the other hand there are poor people they are illiterate they totally believe what these powerful persons are saying they have no reason power they are absorbed they are grieved they are enclosed in one by the the struggle <coughs> struggle with society struggle with the um, adverse situation adverse atmosphere they had to harvest their own food so they were occupied with those things <coughs> and with the plantation we know with the arrival of plantation and man they needed manpower we have to talked about that in tobacco plantation slavery slavery was introduced and um, non puritan people were uh, taken from the outside world so these non puritan people they started believing that they are not um, the god's people and they may be something else so and gradually with the advent of slavery the non puritan population increased and puritan became fearful and they wanted to show their power to root out the others they believed that they are to join by god and the non puritan who are coming from not from their root they are not chosen from god and a growing disparity was churning in salem and the surrounding towns people started quarreling over trivial issues involved in lawsuits so this was the social scenario this was the mental map of the people of salem now direct cause the 9 year old daughter betty and her cousin abigail williams 11 years old of salem's local minister samuel paris began to exhibit strange symptoms violent epileptic convulsions uh, and other symptoms like frenzy craziness in january or february 1692 the girl screamed convulsed crawled read on the ground behaved strangely and disturbingly so other girls joined them they also found the same similar uh, same symptoms similar symptoms and doctors could not find any ailment in them and what happened when science failed when reason cannot interpret what happens darkness looms large they said who the divine masters that all these things are mysterious and this is which bewitchment result of bewitchment gradually more and more salem girls develop the same symptoms devil is forcing through witchcraft 
this is the general this is a general uh, way of explanation the doctor could not cure them and when the girls were interrogative and asked the name of their tormentors they named tituba sara good and sara osborn and you find the girls they are just 9 11 in this age group and they are just like very ch- child they are they don't know anything serious it may be their play things they are doing all this just out of their wish to play something new now people accuse tituba tituba is from non puritan community he is a slave who worked in the minister's house as a culprit and others were sara good a beggar and sara osborn a widow they were interrogated tituba was forced to confess to its craft actually tituba or the others they did not know anything about these things what was happening with them why they are accused they even did not know that why they are tormented both the accuser and the accused they both were confused more people were brought for interrogation and among them most were women people got frantic they started explaining their dreams their dreaming now what you are thinking you will dream that if you think of these things that witchcraft is happening and i am taken apart in the dark forest i am torn apart and you are you will experience in your dream that uh, violence and that happened with them also they started dreaming their night nightmare and they started explaining their dreams in negative ways 20 people are killed others are imprisoned why prejudice and religious superstition first reason poor judicial system most important reason lack of consciousness it may be conspiracy by group of villagers madness on the part of some attention seeking girls who are otherwise repressed and blah 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 witchcraft like hysteria was somehow contagious smile is contagious and witchcraft also people are perplexed ignorant and crazy so these are the reason why this certain convulsion of witchcraft happened and why women are taken why women are accused mostly they are women why because women are weaker than men men are powerful devil cannot touch the men but women are weak women are feeble so devil can easily conjure women physically and morally so it was a belief of puritan american society and not puritan american society it is the belief of the whole world where you are living where i am living okay get rid of that therefore it is very easy for the devil to corrupt women they are susceptible to temptation of the devil easily Cotton Mather's book. We have talked about Cotton Mather in another video. Memorable providences written to witchcraft and possessions was published just a few years before 1692. It describes a detailed description of the symptoms of young women possessed by witches. So Cotton Mather wrote a book on witchcraft, and he described there how women behave when they are devoured by the devil. Oh my goodness! the true cause was set aside and when science cannot explain anything the girls blame the three outsider witches they are against conventional social norms and they had no strong family ties no political power so they are natural suspects and easy targets you know when people don't find the culprit and people usually don't find the original culprit just like the police and they found the most humble yet most poor and <coughs> and just who has no power the uh, most non privileged person as culprit because it is easy because there is none to speak for that person so it is easy to blame that person and kill or you can blame anything upon him so that also happened in this case and many of them confessed in their interrogation because they are afraid they are confused and they feel that in this way they can be saved everyone was just uh, afraid of witchcraft even those witches those who are accused of witchcraft were also afraid of witchcraft of devil 
Sarah Good's younger daughter, Dorothy Good, was also accused. As the 18th century fell away, America stepped forward along with the world from superstition. The belief in witchcraft that once stirred up the American world gradually faded away. A new hope, a new era, and we are going towards American Revolution under the limelight of science. But those who had to face the cruel clutches of superstition, what about those dark days, bleak memories? You cannot erase them. You cannot wipe their those dark pages. You cannot tear them apart. Okay. And next we will talk about Samuel Sewell, a proponent, a judge of Salem Wistral. Thank you.